Alrighty, it's been seven days since I started my kill hue, and um, it looks a little darker than what it actually is because, as you can see, my jar is a green jar. It is in a clear jar. But uh, I did take a gravity reading, and and my original gravity reading was 1.100 and I was shooting for like a 1.096 so it's a little high um, I'm not too worried about it it just makes it a little sweeter now um, to finish a kill hue you want to add something to it um, to give it a natural flavor now I tested it like this and it believe it or not has a little bit of a lemony flavor now if you remember it's just basically fermented sugar water it's water it's sugar it's yeast it's um, formato which is a yeast nutrient um, and um, what else oh peptic enzyme and uh, that's all that's in this. Um, yeah, I, so I want to show you the sample that I took. This is a clear container and you can see the color difference and um, it's really pretty good just as is. But like I said, with the Kill Hue, you want to um, add a flavor and you can add pretty much any flavor you want. The standard flavor, I believe, is something citrusy. Well, I already have a um, Skeeter Pea going, which is a lemon um, wine, much like um, Lemon Cello, and so I don't want to do that. So what I was thinking was, bring you in down here, I have some freshly squeezed mandarin orange juice. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Now my dilemma is how much of the orange juice to add. So we'll begin with measuring it. That'll give us a good place to start. Oh, pardon my finger. And we have a half a cup. So my question is, do I add the whole half a cup? Do I add a quarter of a cup? Um, I did try a sample of it and I took about, I don't know, a couple of swallows of the Kill Hue and added a teaspoon of the mandarin orange juice to it and that was perfect. Um, so I think I'm going to just take off the airlock and just a reminder everything has been sanitized. Do not forget to sanitize your equipment, your bottle, everything you use. So let's start with a quarter of a cup. All right, I added the quarter of a cup of the um, mandarin orange juice. And as you can see, it did change the color a little bit. Give it a little bit of a stir. And I added my sample back to the bottle because my uh, tube and everything has been sanitized. Um, so, bear with me. I'm going to pour myself a sample with the um, orange juice added and see what it needs from here. Okay. Whoop. As you can see, I just have a small sample. You know, just a couple of swallows. And um, I tasted it. And it um, it's orangey but I think it needs more. So I'm going to go ahead and add the other quarter of a cup. Give 
give that a little mix. I'm going to just kind of give it a little bit of a shimmy shake. You don't want to add any oxygen, but you do want um, you do want that orange juice to mix in. So let's try it now. So again, just just a couple little swallows. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to say, if you've ever had the um, Fanta orange soda, that's what this tastes like. It is amazing. Um, it isn't quite finished yet. There's still tons of um, micro bubbles in there. It's still burping up through the airlock. It's still doing its thing. But let me tell you, so far it's stinking amazing. I'll keep you posted. I'm going to put the airlock back on. And um, I'll let you know in a few days where it stands at this point. So uh, I'm Bev. This is Country Chick Brews. I'll see you in a little bit.